Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel on this, which I'm hoping will be our last day of drilling. So we've got about 12 hectares here to do today and as you can see it's still pretty wet here, plenty of standing water, got some field damage from where the um, chipper came in to do the tree shearing but at least we're getting it uh, finished off. So as you can see here, this is on a bit of a tram line. You can see the tra edge of the tram line at the top of the field there, but pretty lumpy really. Um, we are still going through with the harrow. I'm trying to break it up, but realistically, this is probably too lumpy to uh, be any good with the harrow so we'll just roll this we have called on a neighbor to come in with his culty press and just break up some of the lumps where it's dried but uh, I'm not sure we'll do that here maybe just push on and get it rolled so um, not the greatest start to a cropping spring cropping year but I suppose at least it's not a drought So we're treating this year's seed with tyros, a biological treatment, and this is this follows mustard, a mustard cover crop, a diverse mustard cover crop, fairly decent root on that. Um, interestingly, down this bottom end at the bottom of the hill, it's quite a steep hill, and down this end of the hill, soil smelling wet and heavy. A few nice sunny days and the soil crumbled under the rolls producing a decent seed bed. Unfortunately over the coronation weekend we had over 40 millimeters of rain which caused a return to standing water and an anxious wait for crops to emerge. I have been waiting to see if the barren patches caused by variable germination would fill in but I've come to the conclusion a drilling touch-up might be our only option. The next day, the 4th of May, I had the pleasure of visiting John Palsy's farm, Shimpley Park. John runs a large organic combinable crop business covering over 3,000 acres. He, his use of the system chameleon was the inspiration for our interest in the drill weeder concept. The visit gave us the opportunity to view a number of novel mechanical weeding methods. We were introduced to two different types of crop surfing or weed cutting implements, one of which we later saw out operating in the field. However, first stop was a discussion around John's variable aggression tephra Harracombe weeder with a broadcasting unit. Compared with our own fixed aggression sectional Einbock weeder, each individual tine's aggression is set by a hydraulically controlled wire, which provides varial adjustment whilst on the move. John uses this implement for very early broadleaf weed control and it's his primary method of establishing grazing lays under sowing it in the preceding cash crop. This acts as a two year fertility building lay. Next stop was a demonstration of the chameleon drill weeding and subsequent discussions on weeding especially regarding ideal timings and the limitations of the technique. There was certainly plenty of grass weeds to challenge the chameleon. 
One comment concerned the amount of soil left on the crop. However, John assured us the crop would quickly grow through the challenge. Conditions appeared perfect for hoeing with the depth wheel running with some soil on them. Overall, I was very impressed by the results. We also got an opportunity to visit part of his 1,000 ewe flock during a farm walk and view a trial of veg versus lucerne forage companions. Considering I had last visited the same field in March 2022, I was impressed with the ground cover and the amount of biomass available for the sheep. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live. Thank you very much. Bye.